In the three months since Hurricane Maria, hundreds of thousands of people living in Puerto Rico left the U.S. mainland. More than 215,000 arrived in Florida since October 3rd when the state began counting. One study estimates more than 470,000 people will leave Puerto Rico over two years. Many need help to make the transition. David Begno is at the Multi-Agency Resource Center at Orlando International Airport. That is actually the first stop for many of the arrivals. David, good morning. Nora, good morning. When we arrived here at the Disaster Resource Center, the first person we saw was Maria. She's right there on her phone. She was here with her two boys and her mother. They arrived on a midnight flight from San Juan with no friends or family here and no place to go. They are waiting until 9 a.m. when this Disaster Resource Center opens. It's a one-stop shop where she can find everything she needs. Here they'll give you help and they'll give you hope. Araceli's Baez Martinez and her husband, Jose Rodriguez, found hope in this hotel room. <laughs> this is home for now. Araceli's arrived in Orlando with $4 in her pocket. Did you lose everything? We first met the couple at the Orlando airport. She emotionally is heartbroken because she misses her island. The woman interpreting is Betsy Francis Cheney of the Hispanic Federation. What we're seeing here is that, you know, we have a crisis in Puerto Rico and now it's moving to Central Florida. The Federation is a nonprofit organization which helps Puerto Ricans arriving here find housing, register to vote and learn English. Folks that are coming here and the families are, are running into difficulties, you know, to find a house, to find a job, to, you know, register their children if they don't have the documents. More than one million Puerto Ricans already live in Florida. In 2016, the state had the second highest Puerto Rican population in the U.S. after New York. You've stayed in how many hotels altogether? Four. Four. Eliud Pena and his wife and two stepdaughters arrived in Florida on September 24th four days after Hurricane Maria made landfall. They've spent 72 days in a hotel room with double beds. Being in, like, inside four walls is not helping my stress. Your sanity. Exactly. 17-year-old Jarin Roldan is one of about 2,500 Hurricane Maria survivors who've enrolled in the Orange County school system. She's debating going to college here in Florida. Many universities are offering Puerto Rican students in-state tuition. She's already been offered a scholarship. For job opportunities, I think it's better over here. What makes you emotional? All the stress. You know, it's been hard. I don't know anyone who's gone through what we're going through. As for Araceli's, she's considering returning to Puerto Rico eventually. Once it rebuilds and, and things are back to normal, she has the, you know, the dream of going back. There is a political component to this that a lot of people are talking about. Florida is a prized swing state. Consider this. In last year's presidential election, the Latinos went to the Democrat. The Latino vote went to the Democrats. President Trump won the state of Florida, but by 100,000 votes. Puerto Ricans are eligible to register to vote. And if 200,000 people who've come here decide to vote, what could that do in next year's midterm election? Biana? Of course, David, we still think of the election of 2000. Thank you.